Hello, my name is Jason Mercer. I'm the Toronto Real Estate Board Senior Manager of Market Analysis. I'd like to take a few moments of your time to go through our most recent Market Watch release dealing with statistics for April 2011. Let's jump right in and look at what sales levels were like this past April in comparison to 2010. We saw over 9,000 sales last month, and that represented about a 17% decline in comparison to the record number of sales that we saw in April of 2010. Sales that month were just shy of 11,000. Now it's important to take a little bit of a step back because certainly we did see a spike in sales last year uh, as a result of coming out of the recession. We were satisfying still a lot of the pent up demand that had built up during the economic downturn. So another good way to look at or evaluate how sales were like this past April is not only to compare them to the previous year, but also to look at the average for the previous five years. And that's when we see that sales, not only in April, but through the first four months of 2011, have been more or less in line with the average number of sales that we've seen on a monthly basis over the past five years. So on the demand side of the equation, we've seen the market remain quite steady, and in fact, sales have remained quite strong from an historic perspective. But where things have changed quite a bit over the last year is on the supply side of the marketplace. So for example, new listings in the, in the GTA were down by about 30% this past April in comparison to the same month last year. And if you look at it in comparison to the previous five years, it's a similar story as emerging. We're certainly, we're certainly seeing a lot fewer listings on the marketplace today than what we've been used to in previous years. And this means that there's been a lot more competition between buyers in the marketplace over the last few months. And when we see more competition between buyers, it inevitably leads to a stronger rate of price growth. And that's certainly what we saw emerge last month when we saw the rate of price growth accelerate to about 9%. So the average price in April 2011 came in at over $477,000. And again, that was about a 9% increase in comparison to what we saw last year. So with these tighter market conditions in mind, what do we expect to see for the rate of price growth moving forward through the end of 2011? Well, generally speaking, when you see stronger rates of price growth brought on by these tighter market conditions, it usually prompts more listings coming onto the marketplace. And so if we see this same trend develop over the next year, then we should expect to see more balance come into the marketplace. We'll see a little bit more supply relative to the number of people who are looking to purchase a home, and that'll see to a return to a more balanced market state, a return to low to mid single digit rates of price growth. Thank you very much for your time, and I look forward to speaking with you next month when we'll summarize the May 2011 Market Watch. Brought to you by GTA Realtors.